Well, did you feel it from Dover, Delaware to Baltimore, even right here in our own studio? An earthquake rocks much of the East Coast. The magnitude 4.1 quake rattled homes and nerves across the region. Bob Turk has a look at how close the quake was to Baltimore, but we begin with Avajoy Burnett live with reaction to the earthquake. Avajoy? Well, good evening to you. The East Coast earthquake was a trending topic on social media. People here in Maryland felt it, as you mentioned, but the epicenter was actually in Delaware. The earthquake caused excitement and hysteria. Oh, wow. Did y'all feel that? No way. It was just, I felt like a shaking. Were you in the car when you felt yeah, it? Oh, yeah. It was just like a few minutes ago. Like, oh my, I can't believe y'all didn't feel that. My husband and I were sitting in subway. And we felt the floor move, but we weren't sure exactly what it was. And um, he said he thought my foot was bouncing. And I looked at him and I said, no. I said, I don't think my foot could move the floor that much. The epicenter was near Dover, Delaware, but reports of the shaking came in from New York to D.C. The Mid-Atlantic has experienced this type of jolt before. Back in 2011, there was another rare earthquake that rattled our region. The epicenter of that 5.8 quake was in Virginia. It caused damage to the Washington Monument and further north in Baltimore. And you may have missed it, but Maryland had two smaller quakes in the last month. Lots of times we hear about fault lines over in California region where we have multiple Earth crustal plates coming together and going underneath of each other. That's not what we have in Maryland now. You can think of Maryland more of a one sheet continental plate, and there are some weaknesses within that plate. The U.S. Geological Survey originally listed Thursday's event as a 5.1 magnitude quake, then downgraded it to 4.1. But some people didn't feel a thing. Did you feel it? Did I feel it? Yeah. This weather change? <laughs> <laughs> not the weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, no major damages or injuries were reported. Of course, a much different story from what we saw in 2011. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. Avajoy, thank you. Let's check in now with Bob Turk in the Weather Center with more on the earthquake. Bob? It certainly was interesting around right here this afternoon. Take a look at this graphic. This uh, earthquake happened around 445 this afternoon, about six miles east-northeast of Dover, Felt particularly strong in the downtown Dover area at 4.1. No damage reported from this earthquake this afternoon, but it certainly was something interesting. We discovered it's really was f f really about 67 miles due east, southeast of Baltimore. There, just around the Dover area. In fact, just north of Dover Air Force Base, if you know that is, uh, very close to the coast there. So interesting. Geologists, by the way, report a swarm of earthquakes in the Columbia area since 1993. As you can see, we. Had a 1.5 that was back on October 29th at 8:34 p.m. And another 1.4, very small earthquake, November the 11th earlier this month at 10:55 a.m. And geologists say earthquakes can happen in all 50 states. By the way, now this has been an unusual fall for us with so many earthquakes. They're rather rare, but they do happen around here. Vic.